Hi everyone, Tim Hodges joined by Jack Perkins. Welcome back. Uh, we're going through some of the big teams heading into the 2016 V8 Supercar Championship. And certainly one of the biggest teams is now DJR Team Penske. They've doubled in size. They've got Fabian Coulthard, which is a huge signing for this team. What do you expect from this team, Jack? And can they be a race winner this year, straight out of the blocks? Short answer, yes, absolutely. Um, they've been able to put together a fantastic team moving forward. You look at the progress, the progress they made from the start of 2015 to the end. It's been a, an incredible turnaround from basically a lack of competitiveness at the start of the season. Then the driver change, uh, and now like you know, Scotty Pye's been on pretty good form. You know, got his first podium at Pukekohe, and that car's right up the top of the timesheets now. And enter. Fabian Coulthard, enter Phil Key, the gun engineer from BJR, enter a whole lot of um, good staff and a massive expansion to two cars, and I think this team will be right on the money. Phil and Brad have, uh, Phil and Fabian have punched above their weight at Brad Jones Racing in the past few years. Um, we know BJR is um, not underfunded, but they, they just don't have the resources that are available at DJR Team Penske. Now with the money, with the resources, with everything they could possibly want. What can they achieve? Can, can they go for the championship in year one together at this team in Queensland? Well, I think, I mean, that, that's what they'll be trying to do. I think what we're seeing here now with DJR Team Penske is what we saw with Triple Eight many years ago. They entered the sport and had a bit of a look around and then got the right people and built up a championship winning team. And Penske aren't here to finish third or fourth. They're here to win championships. And, and, they, and they don't want to wait around for you know, let's say 2017, let's say 2018 is our goal. I imagine Roger Pence is probably on the phone saying, why not 2016? Absolutely, and you know, Fabian's proven to be a consistent race winner or podium getter, and now his opportunity is only a little bit better than what he had, meaning it's, you know, it's a positive change for him. And like I said, the Penske guys have really been able to turn that around. They've assembled a fantastic team of people, and the cars will be fast. What can Fabian coming on board mean for the driving career of Scott Pye? Well, I mean, it's a good yardstick for Scott. I mean, you know, a lot of question marks around Scott Pye as a racing car driver. Um, you know, he's really showed towards the back end of the year that he can run it with the best of the guys in our category. But now enter Fabian Coulthard, and that gives him a terrific benchmark to see where he's at, see where the team's at, and see what they're all capable of doing. Thank you, Jackie Boy. Uh, fantastic to see DJ Team Penske as a two-car operation in 2016. They'll be ones to watch this year. In terms of where you're going, though, clearly really exciting. One of the biggest names in motor racing. I mean, anybody could drive for Penske all over the world is huge, but to do it in supercars with, with Roger and Dick combined is pretty cool. Yeah, look, they're two massive icons of the sport, and you know, to be able to align myself with you know, those types of people and to give me the best possible chance at winning Bathurst in a championship is, uh, you know, I feel like I've aligned myself with the two, the two right people. So I'm pretty excited. Um, you know, 2016 is going to be uh, a new chapter in Fabian Coulthard's story, so um, I'm really looking forward to it. They've obviously coming, I mean, Roger doesn't do things by halves and he's really taken 2015 to have a really good look at things, but he clearly wants to step things up in 2016. Yeah, and I think, you know, going from, you know, the single car operation to two cars with uh, myself and Scott, you know, Scott's proved that the cars are, you know, consistently in the top eight. So I feel like they're very good building blocks for, uh, for, the, for the year ahead. Um, I'm pretty excited. I'm looking forward to the task at hand. Obviously, there's going to be a building phase and, and things like that. But if we can work from a top eight base, I think we'll be real contenders. This summer is a lot different mindset for you than what it was 12 months ago. Yeah, it is. Last year was disappointing. So it's nice to know where I'm, where I'm going, where I'm going to be, and have that continuity with the team as well. For me, it's probably the first time you know since I've joined V8, well, it is, since th that I know where I'm going next year and what I'm doing. So it's fantastic to start next season again with DJR Team Penske, and I think that the progress we've made this year has been fantastic, and I'm excited to see what we can do in another 12 months. And it's fair to say this is, this is the exciting place to be amongst this pit lane as well. This is where I think there's the most potential, for sure. I mean, the resources we've got now is fantastic. We've got a great bunch of guys. And again, you know, we're a team that qualified dead last at Perth and, and now we've just reached a podium so to do that in less than eight months is fantastic and it just shows the drive and potential I think the team's got so you know I can see why Fabian wanted to come here and uh, and I can see obviously why it was so important for me to stay here as well it's uh, it was something I really wanted to do and I feel like it's an achievement um, in, in getting the drive here and uh, and I'm excited to see what the guys can do in, in another 12 months like I said. Ryan after a big another big year but um a real growing year for Team Penske, but next year is going to go to another level, isn't it? Well, I think it's more growing pains, to be honest with you. It's been a tough start, but the way we've finished the year has been quite strong, and we're hopeful that we can carry that momentum into next year. You've 
you've retained Scott and also going to add Fabian to the to the stable. What's that going to bring this team? Well, I think this is the experience of someone like Fabian and bringing someone like Phil Keat along as well means that there's a degree of continuity even with that group. And changing from team to team, yet alone manufacturer to manufacturer, is a big ask. So we have realistic expectations of when we start the year, but having that continuity with that driver-engineer relationship is something that's important. Both were done uh, in complete separation, I suppose, but uh, it's a good thing to have. There's some teams that are cutting back, but you guys are expanding, and I guess that's an indication of how serious this team is taking the championship. Yeah, look, we have an, a very ambitious growth strategy, and Roger Penske doesn't enter anything to come second. So the expectations are high. We have realistic expectations. We're not expecting to come out and, and win races from, from Adelaide onwards, but I think we have realistic expectations for where we want to be. I think we've had realistic expectations even for this year and we've we've met and in some instances exceeded those. But uh, we race in Australia to promote Rogers businesses. Western Star, MAN Trucks, Penske Truck Rental like you can see in the car behind me here and uh, that's really what this team's all about. So we're, we're growing so we want to get to a point where we're winning. Uh, that will take its time but this is really all about the marketing for the Penske business and, and those relationships as well. Each week, Armour All will be giving away the ultimate summer pack. The pack comprises of a range of summer products such as the Armour All foldable chair, Armour All hat, Tula Esky bag, bottle opener, Armour All stickers, along with a range of Armour All products to keep your car looking cool and clean this summer. To enter the draw, all you have to do is click on the link below and fill in your details. It's that easy. See you tomorrow for another episode of the Armour All Summer Grill. So you've washed the exterior of your car, but if you're like all of us in the modern era, we spend so much time inside our cars. Don't know about you, but I like it pristine. And the way to do that, Armour All Original Protectant. Now, seriously, I love this product. Quite genuinely, I've been using it since I left school, a long, long time ago. And why it's really good, you can just use it everywhere inside your car. Obviously, don't put it on your windscreen and don't put it on clear glass surfaces, but right across your dash, your door trims, your console, down here on the side mats here. I mean, it's just great everywhere. But a tip, don't put it on your steering wheel and don't put it on your pedals. Great thing about it, not only does it make all those surfaces look brand new again, it actually protects them from the sun, so that's pretty important. I also like to use it around some of the little external plastic bits. You know, they go a little bit off colour, you put a squirt of that on, give them a wipe, they come up new again. Love it. Now, the other one, if you like this modern car, a lot of these textured matte satin finishes, not so glossy, well, cleverly, Armour will make a variation of this, but in low shine version. Very, very clever thinking. Now, rather than just spray it around your dash and get it on your windscreen, whack a little bit on your cloth. There, Armour will make a general purpose cloth for that. Whack it on there, wipe it all around, and it really is as easy as that. Now, if you're a little flashier than me and you run leather seats and leather apparatus in your car, Leather Care. Now that's a great product, you might need to apply it a couple of times. Not only will keep your leather supple, but will keep it looking like new. Now, time poor like me, well here's the go. Look at these, in a little cylinder, in a little pack, and that'll keep everything fresh and wet. All three of those products can roll around in your boot. Terrific.